I've got a fever and the only cure for it is more spring. Hi, I'm Kristen Conger of Stuff Mom Never Told You, in today for D News. Now, the first day of spring in the Northern Hemisphere is just around the corner, which is probably an exciting prospect for many U.S. residents who have experienced a bitterly cold winter. In fact, January 6th was the coldest date of the 21st century thus far in the United States, and there's already a Wikipedia entry for early 2014 North American cold wave. And while the physiological and psychological side effects of cold gray winters, such as seasonal effectiveness disorder, are more readily understood, what do we know about the science of spring fever? Is that anecdotal ants in the pants restlessness for warm weather and sunshine a real thing? Well, chronobiologists who study the interaction between people's circadian rhythms, mood, and behavior say yes, spring fever is a bona fide phenomenon, largely thanks to the intersection between sunlight and the part of the brain called the hypothalamus. So you see, longer spring days mean that you're exposed to more daylight, and this sets off a chain reaction from the light sense sensitive retina in our eyes to the hypothalamus, which also happens to be the neurological home of the suprachiasmatic nucleus, better known as our biological clock. Now, the hypothalamus then signals the brain's pineal gland to slow the production of melatonin, and this is a hormone associated with regulating sleep cycles, while also increasing the production of the so-called happiness hormone, serotonin. And as a result, people often experience a springtime boost in energy, confidence, and even sex drive. Men, in fact, have have higher sperm counts in the spring than in winter, which is probably why OBGYNs also report a springtime spate of unplanned pregnancies, a baby-making pattern also reflected among other mammalian species. Now, the additionally colorful and fragrant sights and smells of springtime can also amplify all of these enlivening effects. But not everyone experiences this seasonal jolt positively, as things like insomnia, car crashes, and criminality also exhibit springtime revivals. Spring also is associated with an increase in depressive and suicidal behavior, a trend that psychiatrists still haven't been able to conclusively explain. Different theories echo aspects of spring fever generally associated with sunnier moods, like more socializing and restless energy. But on a brighter note, one study out of the Virginia Institute for Psychiatric and Behavioral Genetics suggests that basking in the springtime sun is good for us, and the more time we spend outside, the better our moods, which I am sad to report will likely take another weather-related dip once hot temperatures begin to crest in the sweaty summertime. And if you're in need of a mood boost to get you through until spring is finally sprung, D News is giving away a DVD box set of Discovery Channel's Life on Earth collection, which includes its stunning documentary series Life, Nature's Most Amazing Events, Planet Earth, and Blue Planet. Now to enter, you have to be a U.S. resident who's following at D News on Twitter, and if you are, just head over to the first link in the description below and click on it to tweet out this video. We'll give you until Wednesday, and we'll announce the winner on Thursday. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe here for more D News, and you can also check out my show at YouTube.com/stuffMomNeverToldYou.